screencasting or projecting your phone screen along with the phone audio to your smart TV is basically a common knowledge now. In this video, we are taking it up a notch by teaching you how to screencast your phone to your Windows 11 PC. What you're seeing here right now is the screen recording of the actual casted phone screen within my ZenBook 13 OLED laptop. In case a TV is not available, you can use this process that I'm going to show you to share and view the presentations, videos, pictures, and stuffs from your phone into a bigger screen of your laptop or desktop. The screen casting also includes a good audio, and you can even control the casted phone screen with your Windows 11 machine's mouse pointer. Do note though that what I'm going to teach here only applies to a Windows 11 PC and an Android phone. Let's begin. Alright. We will begin by opening the settings. You can press Win I keys from your keyboard to open it. Alternatively, you can right-click on the Start button and then click Settings from the pop-up menu. From here, click on the Apps item from the side menu. Then from the menu items in the right, click on the optional features. Then at the top right portion of the page, click on the View Features button. This will open a dialog box that will list all the available optional features. Let's search for Wireless Display. There we go. Let's click on the checkbox beside the item. Then at the bottom, click on the next button. Then to start installing it, click on the install button. Installation took about 2 to 3 minutes for me. This will of course depend on your machine's power. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay. It's done installing. Now let's go to the system from the side menu items. Then look for projecting to this PC item below. There it is. Let's click on that. We can set the options for the screen casting properties here. First is we need to enable the screen casting for this PC since, by default, it is off. From this first item, let's select the available options to enable the screen casting. Either on secure network or everywhere. I will choose everywhere for now. The second item let us choose on how the screen casting starts, if it will ask you when screen cast request is received every time or only during the first time. I'll choose every time for now. Next is an option to add a pin for those that are projecting their screen to your PC. When enabled, you can of course, set the pin value here. For simplicity of the demo, let's not add any pin for now and set this to never. Then we can also toggle to discover projections, only when the PC is plugged into a power source. And below that you can also set the PC name for the screen casting. Changing that PC name will not affect your Windows machine's name, so it's okay to change that. But I will not change the name for now, and will also set this toggle to on since my laptop is plugged into power anyway. Now to start this Windows 11 machine, to listen for any screen casting request, we will need to click the link above that says launch the Connect app to project to this PC. Let's click that now. There we go. Now, from my ROG Phone 5 cell phone, I can initiate the screen cast to the laptop. First thing that you need to do is make sure that your PC and your phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The screen casting will not work if the two devices are on a different Wi-Fi so let's make sure they are the same. Okay. That's good now. Let's start a screencast. Oops. I need to turn off the dual band Wi-Fi feature of my phone to have the screen casting work. Dual Wi-Fi lets me connect and use two Wi-Fi network at the same time in my phone. Let me toggle that off here. Okay. Now let's start the screen casting. Okay. It's connecting. And we're in. Here we go. I am now projecting my phone screen, along with the audio, to my laptop. Neat. To have a better bird's eye view of what's happening, let's take a video from outside the screen. Here we are, outside the screen recording. Again, first thing to do is make sure that your phone and PC are connected to the same network. And that is a check. The laptop is in listening mode now, so let me start the casting here on my phone. It's connecting. There we go, I'm in now. There is a delay of about half a second between the phone and casted screen. And that is expected, it's the same way to when I'm screen casting to my smart TV as well. Let me adjust the angle of the laptop here quickly to avoid the reflection of the light. The screen cast of course also get the screen orientation perfectly like when I switch to landscape, it will rotate as well. And I think when screen casting, landscape orientation is the way to go, since PC screens are designed that way. One feature here that you can't do when screen casting on a television is the use of a PC mouse. Yes. You can use your PC mouse to control the casted screen. I can click, drag, scroll on the screen using my laptop's mouse. Basically controlling my phone through my laptop's mouse. A really neat feature for this Windows 11 casting. The PPI for the mouse pointer is a bit low though, so you will need time to adjust on using the mouse pointer when on casting mode. 
Let me play YouTube video here to show you that the audio is also casted to the laptop. There you go. I got these two TP Link Deco AC 1200M4 Wi Fi. The audio you are hearing here is coming from the laptop and not from the phone. So if your laptop has a better speaker system than your phone, this is another advantage. The casted screen also responds to the laptop's keyboard, but I'm not sure what keyboard keys are used to control this. I will need to do a research on that first. Another use case that I can think of here, since the computer mouse is functional, is playing your phone games through your PC. Although, as I've said earlier, the PPI for the mouse response is really low. I'm not sure if there's a setting that we can adjust to improve that. See here, I am basically playing Clash Royale using my computer mouse. Really cool. To stop the screen casting, just disconnect from your phone and the Windows 11 interface will also automatically close. And that's it for this video. I hope this helps and have given you another unique item on the screen casting options. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.